Hi, I'm Dr. Ted Delbridge, Executive Director of MEMS, the Maryland Institute for Emergency Medical Services Systems. This year's National EMS Week is May 15th to the 21st, and it provides an excellent opportunity to reflect on the dedication and commitment of all our public safety colleagues and healthcare professionals, emergency medical dispatchers, emergency medical responders, EMTs, cardiac rescue technicians, and paramedics who collaborate to ensure Maryland's emergency medical services system is always at the ready. Each and every hour of each and every day, they rise to the challenge to make certain that no call for help goes unanswered. In fact, in this past year, Maryland's EMS has responded to more than 1 million calls for help and ensured that more than 500,000 people, fellow Marylanders and visitors, arrive safely at the next phase of their emergency care, the right care at the right place. In every case, Maryland EMS clinicians rise to the challenge to refine their state-of-art clinical knowledge and skills, to respond to any situation, knowing there are personal risks they can see and those they cannot, to bring their expertise to bear, and to meet those they help with compassion and empathy. This past year has, at times, stressed the fabric of our healthcare system and in turn tested Maryland's EMS system. EMS clinicians rose to those challenges like any other. They adapted to new approaches to compassionately care for lower acuity patients. In fact, the most frequent disposition among people with viral sim symptoms has been referral for self-care at home. The evidence indicates that this strategy is optimal when appropriate protocols are applied. They have helped hospital emergency departments identify lower acuity patients who do not need to disrupt the cues for care, which unfortunately have sometimes been longer than typical. And they have stepped up to vaccinate. EMS clinicians have vaccinated more than 100,000 Marylanders for COVID-19. Other challenges are longer standing, and EMS continues to rise to meet them as well. Among them are the continuing opioid crisis. EMS responds with compassionate care, facilitating continuing treatment and often leaving behind naloxone, which we know to be a helpful intervention. Finally, recent years have been among the most deadly on Maryland roadways. EMS clinicians continue to rise to that challenge. By being the driver who leads by example, including judicious use of lights and siren, by ensuring that roadway incident scenes are as safe as they can possibly be, and by bringing their A-game expertise and the highest caliber care to every roadway incident. Too many times in this past year, EMS clinicians have answered their final call. They were our colleagues, our friends, and our family. We remember how they rose to the challenge to make their communities in Maryland a better place. To all of Maryland's EMS clinicians, if you could walk in my shoes and see what I see, you would know just how much you are highly respected, greatly appreciated, and counted on by your fellow Marylanders who are comforted by the knowledge that you are always there, rising to the challenge. For all you do each and every day to make Maryland better, thank you and Godspeed.